Alisi, Dale Gatefold 33 here to do a video. This is a contest video. So Martin, the vinyl scavenger, who's um, you know, just um, recorded a new album of um, music. Um, I think he does sort of music put together by sampling from, from many kind of sources. Um, so he's do, running a contest um, a, a, around the, that event uh, so yeah so this is my entry f for that um, so yeah I like to you know do contest entries thread responses and all that kind of thing support people's channels um, so I will say sort of up front I like to do it to support people's channels I don't like or want to win um, I was I was luckily and en lucky enough or in my case unlucky enough to win win a contest that Randall Weaver ran um, and I kind of hadn't thought about actually the, the what would I do if I won <clears throat> so um, I, I asked Rand, Randall if he would donate the prize to charity rather than rather than me me have the prize um, and he kindly did that which which was which was great um, so yeah so I'll say up front now I don't I don't want to win Martin so um, you can either not enter me or if, if I happen to win draw somebody else out um, yeah the kind of win, winning of contests and the and VCLT and all that kind of thing just it's not something that um, I, I want to want to partake in at all but I like the contests uh, if that makes any sense it probably doesn't but that's that's the way my brain is wired so um, yeah anyway Martin had four questions uh, which I struggled understanding um, uh, probably because that's mainly I don't really understand the concept of sampling particularly even though I get lots of stuff that's got field recordings and found sounds and samples in it um, I'm obviously I'm not a music musician or anything like that so I don't understand all of that anyway four questions so so I think the first one was show something that's been sampled um, or a sample in a song <clears throat> which I have say I've probably got lots but I couldn't recall any or didn't know if they met the criteria but Martin also said or something that's been used in TV or, 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 or commercials or sort of adverts uh, so I went for that easier option and I couldn't find my vinyl copy so it must be in a box somewhere but it's um, this the song from Fairground Attraction perfect um, yeah a song that's kind of an example of a song that's been used um, in adverts and therefore lost its appeal as a song because you just can't now it just gets on my nerves pretty much um, uh, yeah so it typically appears in holiday or sort of DIY adverts um, but it's been used I think, I think many times it feels like it anyway um, obviously with the, with the title perfect um, you can see why um, so that's that I don't know if that was the right answer or not but um, it's my answer next one was uh, a, a scavenge so so the, the ultimate scavenge for me will be it has not yet happened so um, yeah well, about six years ago I had a record in my hands when I was looking through someone else's had some records and they showed oh I've got this as well and I could have bought it there and then but I didn't uh, and I see the guy quite regularly at car boot sales and I'll say oh you know, we need to kind of do something on that record and yeah 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 and yeah I've been doing that for six years now um, probably 30 or 40 times we've had that conversation um, and still not got it so that will be the ultimate scavenge because um, it's, <laughs> if I ever when and if I ever get it so the one that springs to mind though is still car boot related and it probably goes back eight or nine years when car boot sale record collecting at car boot sales was perhaps a little bit more of a pleasurable experience as it, as it than it is now in, in terms of uh, there was more success and fewer <laughs> and less competition um, but yeah I happened to be going around walking around with with someone else talking to him who happens to collect records as well and we we're kind of like walking past the car as someone opened their hatchback and just dumped out like I think about eight bo cardboard boxes of records and we were like Phew. and it was kind of like well you take that half I'll take that half and then he's like oh look I've got this oh yeah it's good yeah but wasn't anything spectacular and it was like how much are they oh they're 50 pence each okay but then I got then I kind of was going through and I found an artist and one one album two albums three albums by this artist that who I, who I was really kind of looking for so I thought oh wow and so um yeah so that was sort of the scavenge element was you know, basically these were on the tarmac you were on your knees on the tarmac the two of us desperately trying to get through the records before any of the other record people kind of noticed and came 
came piling in on some of the boxes. So there was that kind of quick, let's get through them type. Anyway, the record that I, I found that I was most pleased with for 50 pence was, was this. So an original copy of Scott Four, Scott Walker, Scott Four, which is quite hard to find. Um, and um, yeah, this is um, not a bad copy. It's probably a VG, VG. I mean, there's some ring wear and stuff, but it's only a VG um, a vinyl. But anyway, for 50 pence, I wasn't complaining. Okay, next is um, a sample that I'd like to be used in, in a piece of music. So, uh, and Martin gave a few kind of examples. In one of them, he talked about countryside or or outdoors, or and I kind of this sprung into my head. I don't know why, but this sprung into my head. So the sample is a Frisian cow, not any other type of cow. It has to be a Frisian cow. It doesn't have to be Lulabelle here, but um, a Frisian cow. It doesn't have to be mooing. It can be, you know, nuzzling around in its feed box or. Um, you know, <clears throat> snorting around or kind of just, you know, walking around a field or walking through a yard or anything like that. But a Frisian cow, no other cows will do. And then the final one was black and white photos or black and white cover. So I've gone with actually with a box set. So I collect pretty much everything that gets put out on the Freedom Air label I have done for 10 years or so um, and um, yeah so kind of instantly as soon as it's announced I pre-order it uh, and about this is 2013 so Keith who runs the label put out the first Freedom Air box set it was called Strange Fish uh, and it was a, a four album um, box set plus other stuff um, uh, Strange Fish because obviously Freedom Air, Fruits of the Sea all the label things are, um, you know, the, 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 the labels and sub labels are all kind of related to Fouy de Mer. Um, and obviously Strange Fish is. And so this was, this box set was all um, original material by artists in the sort of kraut rock cosmetia um, kind of genre. So there were four, say four albums, two doubles and two singles. There's Strange Fish One. No, sorry, that's Strange Fish Four. We're going in we're going in reverse order. No, that's Strange Fish One. So these are all kind of, I guess, the sorts of strange fish you find at the bottom of the ocean. Strange Fish Two. And this is uh, Strange Fish Three. And it also came with. Excuse me. If you ordered the box, it came with a bonus sing well, bonus single that had a seven-inch single and a CD of another load of tracks as well. So, uh, so there's another strange fish. So, yeah. So there's a black and white photo. Uh, photo. So, yeah. So that's um, that's it. Good luck with the contest, Martin. Cheers.